for the sign of Gemini. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Gemini, I'm getting, I'm getting some type of uh, download that there's someone that, uh, somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody wants to reach out to you now. This could be a family member. This could be a, a co-worker, a friend. This could be somebody new. Or it could be the person you're dealing with. They want to come towards you and be uh, romantic, sensitive. They want to offer you... Um, they want to offer you love. They'll come across as being really warm, friendly, and... Uh, very compassionate towards you so let's get into a reading and let's see what's going on here so for the present time like i said this is for july we got this nine of wands and it's with the five of pentacles <clears throat> so the nine of wands it's about anxiety now you see how this man in this picture he's got all these wands surrounding him and it looks like he's about to battle someone. But there's no one coming towards him. And it looks like there's a fire could be coming behind him. Or there's a fire behind him. So it's about anxiety and worry being burdened and keyed up over something. Now the first and the best step is usually to just take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Try to take it one day at a time, one hour at a time if you can. Because it's showing at least some of the worries they will likely turn out to be imaginary. They're just all in your head. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and try to pick it apart. Ask yourself what's the likelihood of the worry actually happening. Comfort yourself and if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Because really asking for help is the mark of a strong person. Now it's with this Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is pointing to a time when life is feeling less insecure. The important thing to remember is that there's help available when you need it from forces seen and unseen. You could feel alone. But just know you have the capacity to change that. So try to reach out. And if you've... Yeah, try to reach out. And um, you could start to feel like you're being left out in the cold. As though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one suffering. Just realize that this is not the case. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember the wise thing to do is if you need help is to go out and ask for it. Because the help you need, it will come. So, like I said, for the present time, July, we got this Nine of Wands and Five of Pentacles. So it looks like you're, you, you feel like closing yourself off. And you're becoming guarded with this nine of wands here. And there's some anxiety, worry, and you're stressed out. And it's probably because someone's making you feel left out in the cold. Or someone could be treating you the way that they shouldn't. You could have your eye on someone you feel is not treating you the way that they should. Put it that way. But we need to clarify these two cards because that's pretty vague. So we need to get into the rest of the reading and take a look at what's going on. And then we'll come back, the, we'll come back to those two cards. So if you're dealing with someone... They see you as the Ace of Cups. Beautiful. There's deep attraction there. Beautiful. Ace of Cups, and they also see you like the Three of Wands. Now, the Ace of Cups, it's a powerful, positive card in the tarot. It's about love, happiness, affection. It's about new beginnings, and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill, more than usually at this time. So you'll be feeling really good about life. And it's also a good time to make friends with the Ace of Cups. 
Yeah, if this is an existing relationship, it could go to a deeper level of understanding. It could go to commitment. Yeah, to the next level. It'll feel like an encouraging new start. Or a new relationship is about to appear soon with an Ace of Cups. That's a little tip, a little side note for you single people, out, single Geminis out there listening. So, back to how your person, if you're dealing with someone, they they have a they see you as having deep attraction for them. Yeah. And there's a lot of warmth that they see you have towards them in this connection. Now, they also see you like the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands, it's showing that it looks like your finances, they're much better. In fact, with the Three of Wands, it's about feeling like your ship has finally come in. So you'll be feeling strong with a good reason. You could be finally experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulty. The Three of Wands refers to work in an extremely positive way, even if you don't work outside the home. It means that your efforts, they're being seen, appreciated, and well-respected. So with the Three of Wands, they see you looking ahead. You're expanding. It's about growth. So they see you wanting teamwork in this connection. You want to grow with this person. And because it's with Ace of Cups, they see you wanting an, a new relationship with them. Or they see you want commitment. Or they see you offer this. And they see you having deep attraction for them. There's a lot of warmth that you bring. And you want to grow and expand with this person. Now let's take a look at how, well yeah, that's how they see you. Now let's take a look at how you see them. Just remember, uh, Gemini's, the roles can be, they can be switched. They can be reversed. So, you see them like the Page of Wands and the Hermit. Now the Page of Wands, they're, they're warm, ambitious, high achievers. If it's not a person, it's about the energy of easy distraction. So you have to try to stay focused. It's showing that some things you started some time ago, they could start to come to fruition. It also shows a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. It's positive energy, but you have to supply the follow through. So messages of love and affection is what this page of wands brings. Yeah, you see them as being excited. They want to reach out to you. They got something to say. Love and affection. They, that's what they want to bring you. But they could become easily distracted because they could be a curious type. Um, they have a lot. They got a lot of passion for you, Gemini. Uh, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's youth, a student, immaturity, somebody younger than you. So that's probably why they can sometimes get easily distracted. But they, they're excited about you. They, they're going to reach out. They're going to reach out. They, they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you about love, affection, passion. Now it's with the Hermit card. The Hermit card, it's a spiritual card. It can be. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations. Everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It could be in the frame of mind that you want and need some time alone. Don't hesitate to take it. Even if it's just a five minute walk around the house to clear your head. This card is also about trying to do really hard the right thing. But just make sure that the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally. And you're not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So, you, this is also how you see them. You see them... You see them needing to clear their mind. Get rid of some baggage. 
and then and then they want to come towards you or you could see them as needing to clear their mind get rid of some baggage and then you will let them come towards you it could go a few different ways they do want to come towards you they're excited about you they got passion for you um, because it's the page you might find them a little bit immature sometimes or doing s silly stuff or doing things that you don't appreciate but they really like you so you probably think that you could see them trying to maybe pull themselves together <laughs> because they they might come towards you in an immature way so it looks like they're trying to get a grip they take long walks before they approach you this could be a new person or maybe it's the person you're dealing with but they're in deep thought before they reach out they go into deep they go into deep thought before they reach out because um, um, this person might have a hard time staying focused but they want to bring you passion yeah and um, they'll be reaching out but I think they know they can't come to you incorrect so they clear their mind before they reach out now it's with this yeah so that's how you see them okay so let's talk about why it's happening so it's happening because we got the temperance card and the king of cups so temperance with this card your relationships they're likely to be going they're not likely to be going quite well but you may need to look at if you have any personal deep personal issues and see if or how they could be standing in your way and if they are how to work through them and integrate them but the ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with any goals and aspirations you have so um, this card is about having peace of mind it could be about reconciliation reconciliation finding balance um, looking at anything you feel guilty any past mistakes you've made and let it go look at what you feel guilty about mistakes you feel you made in your past then forgive yourself and let it go because it's really the only way you can make progress in life that's what temperance is about finding balance peace of mind so it's with the King of Cups. King of Cups is about a balanced male feminine energy. It holds positive qualities of masculine and feminine. Um, it indicates a man in your life. Usually, it if it's representing an actual person, it's referring, it's referring to a kind, loving person who could have here on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know you're being supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen king of cups it's about kindness compassion there's an element of pure and true love in your life no matter what your situation is so it's a very warm friendly and tolerant energy here yeah very very much so there's a lot of love and compassion kindness yeah it means that this king of cups it means that um someone is who's very balanced and loving wants to reach out yeah someone wants to offer a cup of love here with the king of cups or some very good news And then there's um, temperance for why it's happening. King of Cups and temperance. So we need to recap this reading so that we can get the complete picture. Because I know it's kind of all over the place, right? But that's okay. We'll take care of that. So Gemini, like I said, your like I said, your person they see you as they see you as. Um, this ace of cups 
Um, I see you having deep attraction, warmth, uh, or they could see you as having or wanting a new beginning, because that's what the Ace of Cups is about, new beginnings, and um, it usually means love, but it could indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life, so, and they fit, because it's with the Three of Wands, they feel like you could be looking ahead and your ship it looks like it's finally come in so they see you looking ahead you're expanding and you're growing now you see them as um, they want to reach out to you they got a lot of passion for you they could be a little bit immature though maybe this person is younger than you so they they make sure to go into deep thought before they reach out. They don't want to say anything silly. Yeah, because they see that uh, you got a new beginning here and you're looking ahead. This person really likes you, Gemini. So they, they, they go into deep thought before they reach out because... Uh, um, with the page of wands here, this person could have a hard time staying focused. So, they, like I said, they try to come to you correct. Because they got so much passion for you. They don't want to mess this up. Um, your person with temperance card here, they, they like you also because you bring them balance they feel like they get a peace of mind they feel like they're at peace when they're with you there's a, you bring them you bring them you bring them peace peace of mind they just feel balance you balance this person out so they want to come towards you like the King of Cups also. Um, they plan to be very um, kind and compassion towards you. Looks like they're planning all this out. Because they're coming towards you twice with messages. So King of Cups is about a message of love and in the yeah, the Page of Wands is about passion. So this person wants to get next to you. And they really like you. They got, they want to offer you a cup of love with the King of Cups. They find balance with you. You balance this person out. But for some reason, because we got the Five of Pentacles here, for some reason this person, they cause you well, they make you feel left out sometimes, or for some reason, um, they don't treat you like the way that you think they should. Something that they do that makes you feel maybe alone or left out. Something they're not doing right, and that makes you feel feel like they're not treating you they don't treat you like you like to be treated but it's interesting because they want to reach out to you with love and romance but um, it's causing you stress here you stressed out about this connection or this person and it's because I'm picking up you guys aren't really communicating like you should because this person really likes you yeah, you might have a hard time telling them what, what you need to feel to feel happy in a in a in a connection, in a successful connection. Because I see nothing but uh this how much this person likes you and how much they wanna be with you. They see you looking for a new beginning somewhere else though. They see that you could be doing this. Or 
you're doing this and they don't know it. I'm picking up you're not communicating. You're not telling this person how you how you feel, Gemini. Because this person, they really like you. You need. It looks like you need to express yourself more. Or maybe there's something about this person you just don't, you're not really feeling. Maybe you're not really attracted to them. But they're really feeling you. They like the way you make them feel. You make them feel whole and complete and balanced. Balanced out. Um, but you, you, got, you got your eyes on a new beginning somewhere else. And you're looking for growth and expansion somewhere else. Because this person is just something about them. How they make you feel. Maybe they don't always use the right words. They could be younger than you. They... They could do silly stuff with that page of wands there, but they like you. But the things they do sometimes, it stresses you out, causes you anxiety, and you just don't like the way it makes you feel. But you got somebody here that that really likes you, really, really likes you, Gemini. They like a lot of things about you, and they're trying to do it the right way, but I'm picking up... I'm picking up, you don't, you're you not really feeling this person. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, but they got um, a lot of passion for you. They want to offer you a cup of love. And they, they try to come correct, but you're not feeling them. Yeah, something they're doing that's just not quite right. So, that's interesting. I don't think I had a reading like this. Whereas somebody really likes you and you're looking the other way for a new beginning. Um, but you, it looks like you could have something with this person. You know, some people say it's best to, to go with the person that, um, that likes you more than you like them. And that's, that's this reading. That's what this reading is about. You got someone here that likes you more than you like them. So maybe you don't like the way they dress. <laughs> It could be something because it's the page of wands. It's something silly they're doing. I, that's what I'm picking up. I'm picking up. I'm picking up. 